Hello students, welcome to the lecture three of the course. And in this particular lecture, we are going to see the concept of res resistor and what is the significance of resistor when when we are using this component in a circuit. But before studying the resistor, I would like to explain the cases which are present in front of you right now on the screen. Okay. Uh, so as you can see here over here, that is this. Let's suppose this is a tank one. Okay. Uh, which I had represented uh, with the help of T1 and this is tank 2 which I had represented with the help of T2 and and in between both of them there is there is a pipe okay and as you can see over here that tank 1 that tank T1 is completely filled with water and let's say it is 100 liter of water it contains 100 liter of water and tank 2 is completely empty okay so what I'm doing is that I'm opening its uh, uh, tap so that the water so that the water from T1 will move towards T2. Okay. After some time, I, I see that uh, T2 gets completely filled. Okay. And when I uh, see the time, so it takes around 20 seconds for T2 to fill this uh, 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 tank completely with, with water. Okay. Now what I did is that I compress, see, uh, as you can see over here, I compress this pipe, okay, and I'm repeating the same procedure. So, this is my case 2, where I'm uh, compressing the pipe, okay, compressing the pipe, and what I'm doing is that I'm allowing the water to flow from T1 to T2, okay, because T2 is empty, and as soon as T2 gets filled, and when I see the time, so right now the time is the time which I see is around 40 seconds. So as you can see here clearly that in case 1 it is taking uh, 20 seconds and in case 2 it is taking almost 2 times of it that is 40 seconds. Okay. So what does this particular uh, like what what you understood from this particular from these two particular case just pause the video and think. Okay. So I hope you understood the concept that because of compressing okay you are reducing see you are reducing this uh, uh, the flow of water okay that means you are you are this uh, this compressment or this compressing is providing providing uh, resistance resistance to the flow of water to flow of water okay flow of water so as we had discussed in our earlier lecture that uh, current okay that current behaves same as water okay current behaves same as water so we can uh, uh, we can uh, compare uh, from this particular case to that resistance okay or resistor basically a resistor is there to pro to provide uh, sorry to uh, offer a resistance to offer resistance to flow of current so what what is a resistor a resistor is a device or a component which offers resistance to the flow of current okay and it is denoted by r and basically its symbol is as you can see over here so this is a symbol of a resistor and it is denoted by r and its unit is ohms or you can also write uh, ohms as like this okay so now Moving to the uh, next, okay. Uh, so, resistor is a special type of conductor, okay. But uh, what we do, do is that by altering the some, by altering some parameters of conductor, we actually make a resistor, okay. Just uh, try to think in this way because resistor, of course, it passes the current. That means it allows uh, it allows the flow of current through it, okay. That means it allows the flow of electron electrons through it. Obviously, it is conductor, but uh, to impede some current, what we do is that we uh, uh, we change certain parameters of the conductor to make a resistor. Okay, and that parameter are as follows: like uh, the area, okay, the length, and this is the resistivity. Uh, but we don't have to understand the concept of resistivity as such. We just have to understand the concept of length and area. Okay, so we will move further to understand this uh, good concept. Okay, so now we will start with our first parameter that is area and how the area affects the overall resistance. Okay, but
but before going in much detail we have to make certain assumption okay uh, like uh, for example let's say a current is going in a conductor let's say the current is moving in this direction that is on right side okay while uh, if if the current is moving in this direction that means electrons okay electrons are moving in left direction why because we had some yes, uh, because we had seen this reason in our in the lecture 2 i hope you know this concept okay uh, so let's suppose there are few electrons over here okay so this is a conductor which is which i had represented with white border and let's suppose there are 10 electrons okay there are 10 10 electrons moving in this particular direction and we all know that conductor has atom and atom has nucleus okay let's suppose these are the two nucleus that means there are two atoms present over here now what happen is that let's suppose uh, electron is present over here electrons comes at this po position but i will draw this particular diagram over here so that your concept would be much more clear so now what happens is that when electron is in very much closer or uh, is in or electron is in vicinity with this particular uh, nucleus of that atoms what happens is that electrons were actually moving in this particular direction this was the actual direction but what happens is that this the, the nucleus of this atom and the nucleus of this atom okay they try to attract this particular they try to attract this particular electron due to which the electron change it, its path and it will move either here that means this change path let's suppose it is change path 1 or it will either move over here that means it is change path 2 okay so it actually electron was supposed to go in this particular direction okay in this particular direction but due to attraction of uh, nucleus of atom okay due to due to attraction with the nucleus of atom it actually moved in this direction or it will move in this particular direction so what we see at the end is that uh, uh, while going into the conductor 10 electrons were going but while coming out from the conductor only 7 electrons were coming so that means what that means our uh, uh, that means uh, our electrons is decreased sorry electrons uh, are decreased or okay electrons are decreased this should be r okay electrons are decreased now i will repeat the same process again but in this case i will increase the area okay so let's suppose the electrons again is moving in this direction okay and in this case the area of that conductor has increased okay and since the area has increased so what will happen is that it has more nucleus okay one two and let's suppose three three nucleus and again let's say if i'm passing one two and suppose ten electrons through it so in this case what will happen is that right now if you see both of the figure so in this case the gap just a second the gap between these two between the nucleus of the atom okay is more or it is wide it is wide or the gap is more more gap so due to this what will happen is that but i will draw this figure over here so let's suppose this is one nucleus of this is one nucleus and this is second nucleus an electron is tending to move towards them that means let's suppose the electrons electron is somewhere over here so what will happen is that since the attraction since for the attraction you know the nucleus and the electron should be uh, very much close with each other but right now they are far from each other so what will happen is that electron will actually penetrate through them through the gap which you are seeing over here and it will come over here at this particular point okay so in this particular case electron is not changing its direction not over here and not over here as well it is actually penetrating this gap that is moving forward so at the end what i get is that let's suppose here i am actually seeing that 10 electrons are entering in the conductor so from here i can see that time electrons are coming out of conductor that one electron may be uh, loose because of this thing as we discussed earlier but surely 
out of 10 we are getting 9 electrons so that is much electron as compared to this okay so when we compare this when you compare 7 and 9 obviously 9 is greater than 7 that's why we can say as our area increases okay okay then our electron that passing of electron also increases and as we know that electron is like uh, if the amount of electron increases number of electron passing through a conductor increases that means current also increases okay so what does that mean wait i will write over here i will write over here so as the area increases sorry area increases then number of electrons passing uh, through the conductor or maybe that resistor whatever it may be right now it is not resistor through that conductor okay that also increases okay i hope you are getting me and if the number of electron are increased okay if this has increased that means current current or i has also increased and we know as we saw in the page one sorry uh, as we saw in page one that uh, a resistor is a device or component which offers resistance to the flow of current and in this case we uh, we are getting more uh, uh, see if the area is increased so we we are getting more we, we are getting more current that means current is increased so what we can say is that our resistance resistance in this case decreases it decreases so what we concluded as area increases number of electrons flowing through that conductor also increases okay that means number of electrons traveling through it also increases due to which current also increases and if current increases that means resistance decreases so we get what what happened so sorry what we concluded area increases that means it is directly proportional to uh, increase in current okay but it is inversely proportional to the resistance that means if resistance increases area decreases or if area increases resistance decreases and vice versa I hope you understood it. Okay, so now we will move. So now we will see uh, the second parameter that is length. What uh, like how the length affects the overall resistance? To understand this concept, we will uh, again assume the same conditions that we assumed in case of area. That is, current is moving in this direction, and obviously the electrons will move in opposite direction of current. Okay, so just a second, in current. Uh, yeah, current is moving in this direction and electrons in this particular. So these are the electrons moving in this particular direction. And again, there are nucleus of the atoms present in the conductor, and these are the electrons over here. Okay, these are the electrons over here. Let's suppose there are ten electrons, and they will try to move in this particular direction. Okay, and this condition will will actually remain same as we saw in case of area. Let me see this particular condition is will actually look like this one as you saw over here. Okay, so at the end we will get seven seven electrons. But now what will happen if we increase the length? Okay, just try to think what will happen if we increase the length of a conductor. Just try to think. Just pause this video and try to think. Okay, so now I will explain it to you. Actually, if you look this particular length that is L two. Okay. Just a second. If you look this particular length, okay, it is actually carbon copy of L1. How? Just a second. I will just uh, cut it, and then you will be able to see it. See, see if if I try to join it, you can see that its length is almost equivalent to L2. Okay, that means what I can say is that uh, two times of L1 is equals to L2. Just for an example, okay. It is not needed that uh, L two should be two times of L one, maybe one point five, maybe uh, three, four, whatever. But surely more than one. Okay. And now we'll erase it. 
Ah. Okay. So now we will see what happens when the length of the conductor increases. Okay. If the length increases, then obviously, as I said, this is a carbon copy of this one. So then more nucleus get more nucleus of atom gets accommodated in this particular conductor. And let's suppose again, if I'm trying to move these electrons in this particular direction, and let's let's assume these are the ten electrons. Okay, as soon as these electrons moves out from the conductor, what I can see is that this time I can only see around four electrons moving out of a conductor. I was think why the number of electrons has decreased. Okay. Over here it was seven electrons, and over here, while moving out of the conductor, the number of electrons got decreased. Just think so why? Okay. Okay. I hope you had uh, think upon it, but now it's my duty to explain you. First of all, if you, when you increase the length, okay, when you increase the length, an electron has certain energy. Electron has certain energy. When the electron moves forward and forward and forward, forward, its energy goes on decreasing. Okay, that means what I can say is that velocity velocity of electron decreases. Okay, velocity of electron decreases, and due to which it moves in some random direction. Even though we are applying certain force, but again it moves in some random direction. Actually, it wanted to move in this particular direction, but it doesn't move in this particular direction. Okay, this was the first reason. Secondly, as you can see, there are the number of nucleus over here increases. That means, uh, even though, even though, let's suppose, uh, as I explained in case of area, these are uh, these are the nucleus. Okay, even though the electron somehow managed to penetrate from this particular gap, but there are again a set of nucleus due to which. There is a high chance that this electron, okay, which is over here, it may move in this direction or in this direction. There is very less chances that it it may move in this particular direction. Why? Due to the attraction of nucleus. So this is the reason that when we increase the length, okay, the number of electrons traveling through the conductor decreases, and if the electron decreases, that means current also decreases. And if current decreases, that means resistance increases. Okay, I hope you got it. But still, it's I'm writing down over here. Just a second, I will move this, and I will explain this uh, after all, afterwards. Okay, sorry. I will move this down. Okay. Okay. So what I wanted to tell you. If the length C T H okay, if the length increases, okay, that means what happens? The number of electrons decreases. Okay, the number of electron decreases. And if number of electron decreases, that means what will happen? That means current, current will decrease. And if the current decreases, that means that means what? The resistance increases. Okay, resistance increases. So what we can conclude from here is that your length, okay, length is directly proportional to resistance, because as length increases, resistance also increases. As you can clearly see, but it is inversely proportional to current. while in case of area what we got is that as area increased resistance decreased that means area was inversely proportional to resistance and over here length is inversely proportional to current uh, so now we will try to equate the parameters with uh, resistance okay so what we found is that the resistance of a resistor so this is the uh, resistance of a particular resistor okay is directly proportional to the length and inversely inversely proportional to the area so now to remove this proportionality sign 
we put is equals to sign okay to remove this proportionality sign we put equals to sign and at the same time to, while removing the proportion we are uh, adding this uh, constant which is known as resistivity so this particular constant or this particular symbol is known as resistivity okay so now uh, what you can see over here is that again like from this particular equation you can again confirm that if we increase the length okay see if we increase the length that means our resistance also increases okay but at the same time what we are doing if we decrease the sorry if we increase the area if we increase the area then since this area is present in denominator due to it due to which the resistance decreases okay so resistance is inversely proportional to area and resistance is directly proportional to the so this is what you have to remember from this uh, particular uh, phenomena i hope you understood the concept now just tell me have you seen any resistor in your life if not then this might be your first time that you would be seeing it so this is a resistor okay so this is a resistor but wait what are those four lines what they are trying to indicate so what is what are these four lines one two three and four and what actually they are trying to indicate let's find it in much detail way okay so basically these lines just a second so basically these lines are nothing but these are the bands you don't call it as lines but these are the bands okay and each band has certain specification and and it tries to indicate some or the other thing and we will be seeing it in a further page okay so this is the color code okay this is a color code so this is a color code and over here these are the certain colors which have to remember it but wait what what is this thing actually what is this color and what are they trying to indicate so for that we have to move again move to the previous page okay and here i will explain this from here i will explain the uh, actually the concept of what is the bands and all okay so obviously to these bands are nothing but they provide with these bands provide the value value or magnitude magnitude of a resistor of a resistor how so that we are going to see so this let's say this is a four band resistor so these two bands over here see this one and this one so this two band are known as digits okay these two bands are known as digits the third band okay this is the third band and it is known as multiplier multiplier and the last band it is known as it is known as what tolerance tolerance okay so now let's move to the next page and see so this are uh, this is the color code which you have to remember and how to remember it so yeah that would be again a problem but don't worry i have a shortcut trick for it so as you can see the initial letters black for b brown for b again o for orange yellow for y for yellow b for blue g for gray uh, white W for white and G for gold and S for silver. Okay, so we end up getting this uh, B B. Okay, red. Here we also have red. B B R O Y B G W G S. So we end up getting this particular initial letter. So okay, let me erase this first. Then I will uh, tell you the shortcut trick to remember this particular. Uh, color code so how to remember this so take to take first initial of all the letters and form a sentence that means b b roy then write small in small of great britain 
sorry britain had you also have to write this in small letter had very good wife okay had very good wife having gold and silver i know that this sentence doesn't make any sense it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense but yes it is actually a good way to remember this uh, color code uh, now if you see clearly uh, these are the initial letters b for black b for brown b b r for red o for orange y for yellow then g for green okay then b for blue then b for violet then g for gray again then w for white g for gold and s for silver now this makes sense okay i know that that sentence wasn't having any meaning but surely if you try to remember in this sense then surely uh, this would be uh, like a great thing for you to remember this part in this particular way okay so wait but still you don't understand that uh, how uh, to get the color code i mean the value of the resistor okay so not an issue at all we will try to go in an example let's say now this is a resistor okay and you want to know the uh, value of this resistor okay so how to how you how you can find the value of resistor so for this you have to see the initial to color so this is green Okay, so this is green, and this is brown. Okay, this is brown. So again, moving to the color code, and we will see this green has five, and brown has one. So these are the digits you have, you have to take from first to uh, uh, bands. So green has five, and B has brown has one. Okay, and then again there is a brown. So now we will move back, and now we will see multiplier. Why? because as i said here the first two digits the only first two digits will help you to remember the digit these are known as digits okay and the third one it is a multiplier so now over here this brown is the third band so we should look in the multiplier section so over here so brown is 10 raised to 1 okay so we'll move forward and we we'll write into 10 raised to 1 Okay, so now the fourth band is gold. So now we'll move back and see what is the gold. So this is plus or five, plus minus five percent tolerance. Okay, so plus minus five percent. So this is the value of resistor, as you can see over here. This is the value of resistor, and what is the value overall value of resistor? That means fifty one into ten. That means five one zero plus or minus five percent tolerance. so now if you are facing some difficulty like what is this tolerance and all i am here to explain you so it is nothing but the range it it, it actually specifies the range of the resistor for example this is 510 if i am adding 5% that means 5% of 510 sorry 5% of 510 so plus 5 by 100 into 510 So zero zero, let's cancel, and then if I try to uh, just multiply it, so roughly around around almost twenty five. Okay, if I try to calculate roughly, I'm talking roughly. It's five five zero five five zero twenty five. Actually, it is five into five point one. If you see clearly, it is divided by ten, and this is five one zero. So roughly, I'm taking so five uh, five thirty five. Okay, and now if I take five one zero. Minus of five percent of five one zero. That means five divided by hundred into five one zero. So this will get cancelled, and again five five is twenty five. So five one zero minus twenty five. So this pans out to be five eighty five. Okay. So what does that mean? The value of resist this resistor. Oh, sorry, this pans out to be uh, not five eighty five, not four eighty five. Okay. So the value of this particular resistor, okay, it will be 
in range of 485 to 535 roughly okay that means it won't be 510 for sure okay it may vary from 485 to 535 so that so this is what this tolerance signifies okay and this is the actual value of resistor and it may increase or decrease depending upon this tolerance value i hope you understood this okay so now we will move further to the previous page okay and now this is a five band resistor and now you would be wondering that we had studied four band and what is this five band resistor it is nothing don't you don't need to worry okay it is the same thing but i will try to zoom it okay it is the same thing just the thing is that uh, in four band okay the first two digits were uh, uh, just uh, uh, showing you the digits first two bands okay these first two bands were showing you the sorry were showing you the digits here the one two three bands these three bands will show you digits okay the fourth band will show you multiplier and the fifth band will show you tolerance okay this fourth band will show you multiplier and this three bands will show you digits okay so overall the concept is same just the thing is that the third band or oh, the extra band over here is third band which will uh, show you the digit okay fourth band is multiplier and fifth band is a tolerance but before explaining this let me be very much clear about this is that many students get confused from where that where to start the uh, numbering like from here if we start then it would be 1 2 3 4 and 5 or from here it will we will start then it would be 1 2 3 4 5 and the, depending upon the these scenarios the values would be changed okay okay so now this is kind of great confusion but we don't need to be confused in this kind of scenario why there is a technique actually if you see very clearly over here so you can see that there is actually a lot of space in between okay why if you see the other band there is very small small space in between them so what does that mean is that if uh, the region where is there where there is small space so you should start from here that means you should start your numbering from here 1 2 3 so on and 5 and when you encounter from here then you should see that if there is high amount of gap or large amount of gap as compared to this one okay as compared to this one so you shouldn't start your numbering from here okay you should always start your numbering from here 1 2 3 4 and 5 and so on okay so i hope you got it i will try to uh, take the value of this resistor try to calculate the magnitude of this resistance of sorry of this resistor so for this i need to zoom it okay so now as you can see over here uh, the very first color which i am able to see is brown okay so we will move to the previous slide and brown indicates one in digit section obviously this is value or digit doesn't matter at all you can name it anything okay so one is br I'm sorry brown is one okay then second color i am seeing over here it is black so i will again move over here and i am seeing zero in uh, digit section so i will uh, write here zero again i will move back and I, again i am seeing black as zero okay so 100 is the value of resistor and fourth is a multiplier into multiplier for multiplier you should write into okay multiplication sign and again we'll move back and fourth orange orange in orange we'll see the multiplier section and it is around 10 raised to 3 so 10 raised to 3 okay and here it is again brown so brown that means plus or minus one percent plus or minus one percent so this is the actual value of the resistor okay i hope you got this particular thing whatever we are trying to see or whatever we studied up till now if you want to recheck then you can actually i don't have the exact value for the earlier resistor but yes if i try to rub it rub this down then you can see that the value of this resistor is 510 but as i explain you the concept of tolerance so yes its value may 
vary it may vary from 485 to 535 but most probably it will give you around 510 ohms okay this plus plus or minus 5% it's like an error okay or it's like a range of a particular resistor and over here the tolerance is 1% and the value of this resistor this is a 5 band resistor and it is 100 kilo ohm resistor 100 oh sorry 100 kilo ohm resistor we should always write this particular sign uh, ohms for ohms and uh, i hope you understood the concept and logic how to actually uh, remember the uh, this this particular table the shortcut trick we be of great britain had very good wife having gold and silver okay uh, i hope you also understood the uh, uh, like how to find the magnitude or the value of this particular resistors Okay, so we will meet in the next lecture with some new topic.